let me share a trick with which you can smooth the skin only using one adjustment and it will only take a couple of seconds. Let's start by duplicating our original image. I will leave the original at top and turn it off, so I can use it in a second for comparing the before and the after. The magic will happen with the clarity filter. Let me add it to the current layer. The clarity filter is most commonly used to sharpen or add clarity, but when applied to skin with minus 100%, see what happens. Just awesome. Let's quickly compare. Freaking amazing. There you have it. The quickest way ever to smoothen skin. I would almost say thank you for watching and until the next video, but if you're interested, keep watching for some additional tricks on how this can be combined with some additional interesting steps to make a more sophisticated and natural looking result. For the sake of simplicity, I will be working destructively, but in theory, this can be all non-destructive. So the first thing I like to do is to change the blend mode of the clarity filter to screen and adjust the blend range, so the effect on the brighter areas is dimmed down. Next, I will do a merge visible to get a copy of what we see right now. This will create a new layer. Let's give it a name, but actually this will be a waste of time as I will apply the frequency separation filter to it and the name will get lost. In the frequency separation, make sure that the details are barely visible in the gray area. So you don't want a high value like this. For this image, a value around 2 is perfect. We now get two layers, the low frequency and the high frequency. And as just mentioned, the name I gave to the original layer is lost. Anyway, let's select the low frequency and apply our clarity filter trick to it. Pretty cool, and maybe this might be what you're looking for, but when compared with the original, you can see it is way too bright. So let's add a curves adjustment on top of the layer stack. I will put this to multiply blend mode, which immediately darkens the image. I'm going to adjust a little bit more so the darken effect is a bit stronger. Of course this is way too much, but with the help of opacity, we are going to make it look much more natural. Let's start from zero opacity and slowly increase it. About 50% looks good to me. Let's compare with the original. Pretty close and looks good to me. To finish up, I will add a skin preset from the gradient map adjustments. If you're interested in these presets, check out my earlier video. Link is in the description. This preset is way too strong for the look I'm going for, so I will dim it down, first by adjusting the blend range and then lowering the opacity. I'm also not very happy with the soft light blend mode, so let's check a different blend mode which darkens, and from the looks of it, the color burn is the ideal candidate. Again, let's fine tune it with opacity by starting from zero and finding a value which works. This looks about right. As this is a darkened blend mode, I will also lower its effect by adjusting its blend range, so the darker areas will not be used that much for blending. We now have a good base and it might look a bit unnatural at this time. So to fix that, I will use the original image to get some details back. First I will start with the colors. I will duplicate the original and apply this in color blend mode. When I turn this on and off, notice how it makes it more natural. The second step is to make the skin look a bit more natural. For this, I will duplicate the original again and change its blend mode to difference. This will basically show the detail difference we have removed. The trick is now is to use this information to get the details back. But first I will need a copy of what we are seeing right now. So let's apply a merge visible and hide the layer in difference blend mode. As the result of the new layer is primarily black, we can use the screen blend mode, where dark colors have almost no effect. That's pretty awesome. We got a very nice natural face again, and if I compare with the original, the difference is subtle but very clearly visible. Again, it depends on what you're aiming at. 
When I turn this on and off, notice the difference it makes. With the help of opacity, we can fine-tune the effect and control the amount of details you want to get back. What started out as a super short video turned a bit longer. The devil is always in the details and applying a quick trick might work in some cases, but making it more realistic takes a bit more time. I hope you liked this video and thank you again for watching. Until the next video.